Right, well, this evening I'm out after a few rabbits. Pretty nippy tonight, um, but I've got with me the CZ452, little left-handed American, 22LR. I've got on there a Pulsar C50 on there with sports match mounts. Got a serious torch on the top there. Um, that's it really, bog standard setup tonight. I haven't even got a sling on there. Uh, that's on the other rifle, so no sling, no bipod. So we're, uh, we're roughing it a bit tonight, shooting off a fence post and um, just prone or, or whatever but anyway yeah so rabbits the main um, main quarry tonight basically this farm hasn't got tons of rabbits on it but there's a few on there and they're sort of dotted around here there and everywhere and they're growing wheat down the side of the driveway and um, yeah the rabbits are getting away with that so I say not going to be a big bag tonight but um, hopefully we should knock over a few That's the first one down. Let's hop over and go and get him. Alright, well, here we go. First rabbit in the bag. As you can see, that's gone straight through, just between the ear and the eye there, and out the other side, which is just where you want to hit them. That, uh, that just switched them off. Perfect. Right. Let's go and see if we can find some more. It was about 65 metres that one and he was tucked uh, just sort of under the bottom of that gate and it was a real struggle because he was behind sort of both the like the upright and the vertical bars on the gate and um, I was just waiting until he turned just a little bit, gave him a little bit of hold over and um, yeah that's, uh, that's knocked him over. Right we're going to chuck the rifle back in the truck and uh, go and get him. was a neck shot by the looks of it but again another nice healthy rabbit that excellent still three rats out here by these feeders get a rifle see if I can take care of a couple of them horrible things. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, I actually had two there. The first one, I just hit him, didn't hit him quite as well as I would have liked and he was still sort of flipping around a little bit. And uh, the other one that was there rushed over and he kind of like lay next to him kicking him. So <laughs> I don't know if it was like a bit of a rivalry thing or something going on there or what, but interesting behaviour. Anyway, that's two more down, both about 60, 65 metres, so 70, 75 yards, somewhere about there. Right, climb over and go down and get them. Excellent. That one was about 60, 70 yards, not all that far, but just let's give him just a little bit of hold over on that. Right, we'll head down the driveway now and have a look, uh, see what's about down that way. drive goes pretty much the length of it so uh, not too much walking I'm pleased with that one. 115 metres that one, so about 125 yards. Not bad for a little 2-2.
Right, well, I think that's about me done for this evening. I'm pretty damn frozen to the bone. <laughs> Uh, but we've had a good evening though, so we managed to knock over 18 rabbits and um, a couple of rats as well, so that was a little little bonus. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a nice evening out though, it's been nice and sort of still, so i um, been able to sort of push the range a little bit with the 2-2 uh, without having to worry about the wind and that. But the, um, the C50 performed very well, as always, so I like that little scope, well, I do use that a lot with my 2-2 uh, my here. But anyway. That's it for this evening, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Book a ticket to the Great British Shooting Show today. Enjoy free car parking and a free show guide, and the largest selection of shooting retailers under one roof. It's the biggest, the best, the British.